All right, so I just wanted to give like a quick tour of this test stand I've been using. Um, basically been running these torch igniter tests um, for rocket engine that I've been developing. Um, and so this test from this video was uh, an MR sweep test, which basically um, just changing the mixture ratio of the igniter over the course of the test to see um, how it affects the performance and um, also the color of the plume, which is really cool to see. Um, but if we start here, um, this is the torch igniter spark plug, um, uses kerosene and oxygen. And I've been putting the cameras a little closer, so I have my phone here and uh, a really cheap action camera there. Um, and this is where the thrust chamber of the engine will be mounted and the igniter will be installed on the actual engine, but for now it's just um, hot firing it into open air. But overall, so the engine is um, going to be using electric pumps to feed the propellants. Um, and the igniter taps off those same pumps and uses the same propellants as the engine, which is uh, locks and kerosene. Um, I guess I'll start on the fuel line. This is um, about a half gallon tank, uh, totally unpressurized. Uh, I have a funnel for filling it and this nice little clear tube um, shows me what level it's at. Um, and anyways, this goes down to this run line. I have a drain valve, a manual ISO valve. It's going up here into the fuel pump. And in this enclosure is a gear reduction that I built. And this is the electric motor that powers the fuel pump. Um, the uh, speed controller for the fuel pump. And then I have a USB running back to the control area and a bunch of lithium batteries. This is, so that's the inlet of the fuel pump on the bottom. The outlet is up top, going directly into a custom uh, poppet valve that I designed to act as the main fuel isolation valve. So this will control flow to the thrust chamber. Um, and But right now, tapping off upstream of that valve is a small little solenoid that I found at industrial surplus, and that is controlling the flow rate of kerosene to the igniter. And for these tests, the fuel pump is mostly just deadheaded, and that little valve taps off for the igniter. For oxygen right now, I am uh, feeding off uh, a separate canister. One really interesting thing, so um, for oxygen uh, control, basically got this uh, ball valve that I modified, basically built this actuator for it. So uh, it's just a normal lever ball valve um, and you can be controlled with this uh, piston here. And of course these uh, pneumatic valves are controlling uh, some of the piloted valves like this on the test stand. Um, and this is actually just so useful um, to have everything kind of manifolded together. That whole thing was about $35, $40 on Amazon, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then coming back here, this is the electronics that I've built up. Um, got 16 relays, only a couple are populated for this test, uh, like spark plug, different, a couple different fuel valves and the oxygen valve. Um, this is just uh, basically a microcontroller with a screw terminal shield, so we've got like just a crap ton of channels to work with. Um, and this is actually power supply from a drone that's kind of uh, being used as a voltage regulator, steps down to a couple different useful voltages. Um, but coming off there, just USB control to my um, laptop that's actually running the tests, so. And we got the air compressor for pneumatics. Um, but yeah, it's been a really cool um, validation for the whole test stand to run these tests. Um, been really fun. Uh, and I hope if anyone's following along that you're enjoying uh, seeing some of these tests like I am. Uh, if you're interested in uh, reading more about my project, I have a website um, where I am documenting the project on the test stand and engine and such, uh, and the address for that is speedwayspaceproject.space.